Hey everyone, in this video we are going to make a line following robot rover just like this one. In order to make this robot, we need a couple of proximity sensor modules which you can buy from Amazon. Put them together like this and solder VCC and ground of both module together. Now we need a chassis or a body for our robot. As you can see I already have a chassis so I'm not going to rebuild it but you can make chassis from any metal or plastic board. You can also buy a chassis from Amazon, but I prefer making your own chassis which is lot cheaper than these. Next thing you need is geared DC motor and wheels. My design requires two DC motor and a caster wheel. You can make a four motor or six motor robot with same setup. Just connect two motor which are on same side as common. To attach the motor with chassis, I have made L mounting bracket from aluminium sheet. This bracket have a hole for shaft of motor on one side and on bottom side it have two holes for mounting. To control both of the motors, you need a L298N motor driver. Next thing you're going to need is an Arduino Nano with a breadboard. Well you can use any Arduino board or even ESP for this project. For power, I have used 6 rechargeable LiPo cells each of 3.7 volts to make a battery of 11.4 volts 4400 milliamps. I have connected these cells in series and in parallel both to increase voltage and current. You can also use a lead acid battery of 12 volts, 4 or 5 amps or even a 9 volt battery. We have all the materials so now let's just start putting all things together real quick. Let's look at our code. First we have to declare all the important constants and pins which we need. 
Then we have void setup where we declare pins as an output. And at last we have void loop where all the sauce is present. Just copy paste this whole shit and you're good. Also, you need to look at these. Our module send an infrared light or ray which get reflected by the surface and module detect this infrared light or ray. When this ray falls on a black surface, infrared ray or light doesn't reflect back and as a result our module doesn't receive any signal. In our sketch when both module get signal, this means robot is following a straight path. When our robot turn left, that means left sensor is not receiving any signal and same happens when the right sensor doesn't get any signal. As you can see our robot rover is working flawlessly. We can make further improvement in this robot by adding more sensors or a pathway on which it will travel from one place to another but that is a topic for another video. Anyway, I hope you find this video helpful, if yes leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Stay creative and I will see you next time.